Hey guys, welcome to the next Critique the Community. Today we're going to be critiquing winter or Christmassy pictures, but if you would like to be part of the next critique, you can upload your images right now. We're going to be doing unique photos. So explain what this means. So unique photos would be anything that's like a, an interesting or less common approach to maybe something traditional or a an interesting that you... subject, location. We see images that are so similar all the time. So we want to see something new, an idea, a location that you know you don't see photographs of uh, every single day. Something unique that you have done, an idea. Could be the way you approach a portrait, you know, like maybe you're shooting down from somebody. Or, I don't know what don't it would be. Don't give them ideas. Don't give, don't them, give any them any ideas. ideas. But yeah, we want to see unique photos. You can upload those pictures right now. But let's go ahead and get to this critique. This is the highest rated image. We have two penguins. Are you ready, Patrick? I am. Three, two, one. Okay. You're going three. I'm going three, and here's my deal with this image. When I saw the thumbnail of this, I was blown away. And I and I thought, this is, this is incredible. I'm looking at the thumbnail right now. Yeah, that looks... and then when I actually look at this image, it doesn't look like a very high quality image. It looks like it's been cut out and white has been added and they've added this white gradient along the bottom. I thought that it was like a wintry, snowy picture, but then when I look at this here, it looks like poor Photoshop from caged uh, penguins. Caged penguins. That's what it that looks far, That's huh? what it looks like to me. I could be wrong. <clears throat> Maybe they are in Antarctica taking this photograph. But this does not look... Is this the emperor penguin? People I, I love it remember. when we like say stuff like we know what we're talking about. <laughs> and then they're like, no, that's not the... That's the yeah, I'm not even going to go down it's that. the yellow striped penguin. Yeah, I don't remember. But this could be on uh, like Argentina. This could be super, you know... Again, I do not have any penguin knowledge. Either way, somebody could have uploaded an image that maybe wasn't as high res and i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt but what about this gradient on the bottom you think that's I real kinda, i don't you know that that's, that's real it may not be but i still think it's kind of cool what i mean i think it could be cool if it was done well it just looks super fake to me so let's assume it was fake and you could see more of the penguin you can see their feet and you can see the ugly brown ground or some fake <laughs> they're they're in like a cage. metal warehouse cage how would you make this better? Would you add like a smoke or a, an overlay I, I to kind of blend like it in? I would add like blurry uh, flurries of snow or something. Yeah, I'd still have that gradient, but add a little bit of texture to it to make it look real. Add some, some sort of snow mounds in the background or something, even if it's just so faint, to make it look real. This does not look real to me. And I've been wrong before. Maybe this is the most real photograph ever, and this is a National Geographic photographer who traveled by kayak to Antarctica to get this photograph. It just doesn't feel real to me. I love it. I think it's graphic. I think it, it could, you know, I could see this, you know, person of the year for time, and it's about, you know, global warming or something. I think this is a strong image. I, I just, I think there's a million pictures of mama or daddy penguins with babies looking up and down each other. I think they do this all the time. Well, I, I love this image. I love that it's straight on. The one little critique I have is that you zoom in, you can see the eye of the parent penguin, and I feel like maybe there's some way to bring that back or to show it. You know, it's like they've crushed the blacks to try to give it this, you know, really graphic, impactful edit, but I kind of wish I could see the eye because I can see a little bit of the eye there when I when I pull back. Maybe, maybe that's not possible with this edit, but anything's possible, Patrick. Community agrees with you, being that this was the highest rated image at three point five five stars, right in between us. And you are the winner of the first free tutorial. Uh, you can go over to fstoppers.com/store, pick out which tutorial you want, and David will be reaching out to you on fstoppers.com. Patrick, pick a winner of a random image, two through ten. We're only doing ten images today. Only ten today. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, let's go with lucky number three. All right, when we get to number three, you're going to win another tutorial. Let's go on to number two. But before we rate this image, the reason why we only have time to do ten today is because we're getting ready to go see family and stuff for Christmas. 
you've had a very busy day today. Yes, today has been exhausting because today I proposed to my girlfriend. So I am now engaged. Man. And it is a uh, whirlwind of emotions. It's <laughs> mostly great, exciting emotions, but I also didn't anticipate how many phone calls and FaceTimes we'd be you having. You have to tell the story to every person you've ever met. I've been telling the met. story, and you know, many times I tell part of it, and I'm just like, here, you tell the rest. <laughs> yeah. And so it's really exciting, and uh, the one downside is that we are celebrating Christmas separately, and mm. we leave tomorrow. So it's kind of like a little double-edged sword where we're super excited, but then I also know like I'm about to leave her tomorrow. She's going to go to Miami, I'm going to go to Charleston, and then we will come back together after the holidays. But that's going to be exciting because my sister is about to have her first child, so I will be an uncle soon. Congrats on that. And too. then after all of that, we have New Year's, and then we go on our own little winter trip. We're going yeah. to go skiing. Yeah, going snowboarding for a little bit. Yeah, so we've got just a ton of stuff going on. We're also trying to knock out all of these longer free tutorial videos if you've been following f stoppers on youtube uh we've been we have these sponsors like fuji and uh manfrotto and Pro stuff Photo and yeah they're sponsoring these different longer videos and we're a little year, behind so we have a couple I think of them we have that are four that were supposed to be done and released before 2020 they're not going to be released before 2020 we're hoping that they can be approved before 2020 so we're like frantically editing right now before we leave. Yes, all the last couple days I've been working on this fashion one and I just hit submit to all of them. So okay. hopefully that will be on our channel very soon. Good, all right, let's rate this photo. Now this image, Yeah, we've seen I this think before. our viewers are gonna be angry with because I believe we have seen this before. Really? I think we've edited, well, we've, we've I mean, there's no doubt image. we've seen this location before, but I don't know if it's been this mm. shot or not. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm a high three. Like, this could be a four. So, so let me be clear. You think the poorly photoshopped penguins are a superior yeah. image. It depends. Like, another thing people are going to say about this critique is that this is so broad. Like, what is a winter portfolio? I think it depends on your portfolio. If you shoot animals, that image would be one of your stronger images, I think, in a portfolio of animals. I mean, you put this in an animal critique... I still give it a four because that's kind of the way that I'm critiquing this. But I love that image. This with a landscape shot, I think it's a 3.5. Maybe this could be a four. It's just a different genre. It's hard for me to compare those two images. Okay, so what do or do you not like about this photograph? It's a beautiful shot. And for a pano image, I don't know if this is a pano stitch or if they've just cropped this so that it looks more like a pano. I think this is pretty. In this location, I think this image would sell really well. When I just look back, though, there's something, it just, it's, there's so much going on that my mind kind of wanders everywhere, and maybe that's a good thing for an image that's like this. There's detail everywhere and interest everywhere. I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it. Um, obviously, we have a relatively low res version of this. I'd love to see it super high res. Um, there seems to be detail in the shadows and the highlights. Yeah, it looks great. Nothing is standing out as <clears throat> like, ooh, that looks wrong or bad. What do you think about the colors? We've got this like yellowy orange to a teal green in the sky. Um, do you think that complements this image or just with a little tweak you could you could make it flow a little better. Yeah, I see what you're saying, and maybe that's exactly what's kind of making me a little more sad about this image, is something in the sky has this, like, grungy look to it. You're talking about the greens in, mm -hmm. the, in the sky? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I could see where that would be the natural color, and maybe nothing major was done to the sky. And maybe if I push the greens in a different direction, I would think it looks too processed. I think there's some funny business going on with this image, even if it's just a vibrance and a saturation slider. I don't think this is exactly what it looked like, but uh, I really like it. Community gives it 3.5 stars. On to number three, congratulations. You win a free tutorial from fstoppers.com slash store. David will reach out to you. Now, when I first made this contest live, I glanced at some of the images and was there another photo? Now that I see this image and I'm really paying attention to it, this is a skier. Okay. He's got like, yeah. Ski gear. Yeah. There was another picture submitted where the same photographer showed him a lot closer, right? Mm, I think so. And I remember looking at that image and thinking, like, 
this guy is really determined to go skiing if he's climbing over all these boulders with like... Are you just saying that it doesn't really make sense? It didn't really make sense, but I, mean, I don't it, know. It, it would make sense if he was a cross-country skier. And this is like part of the train you have to go through. Yeah. And like, But I think it works maybe a little bit better here where he's smaller. I don't know. That's a pretty nice photo as well. I don't know that I expanded and saw the bigger image. I think I saw a th thumbnail of it. <clears throat> this well, was the higher rated version. It's worth checking out if you're on the F-Stoppers website. Yeah, and keep in mind, guys, uh, you can you can click on the link um, in this YouTube video to not only go to the new critique to upload your new unique images, but you can also see all of these, all the submissions, see what you know people rated in the comments and stuff. It's pretty interesting. Um, well, what, what is your critique other than other than that, we still haven't rated these. Oh, we haven't even rated. No, we haven't okay. rated them. So maybe we should rate them before we go too much further. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. So this is tough because if I hadn't have gone to an ice canyon with Aliyah in that very first photographing the world tutorial we did, I think my mind would be blown with something like this. I mean, and, and it still is. It's still incredible. But since being in it and taking that photograph with Aliyah, I've just noticed how many ice cave pictures there are on the internet. You know, it's like everybody, every photographer who's been to a snowy environment has done this shot. So I, I guess my baseline has risen drastically. Right. Before that photograph, I would see this and just go, whoa, how is that real? And then I realized, okay, there's ice caves like this everywhere, apparently. So I think it's good. I give it a three. I think it could certainly be in your portfolio, but it's just not blowing my mind. I agree. And I'm, as you're talking, I'm playing with the crop. And there's something about this little arch on the left that makes me feel like my mind, again, is kind of wandering. And if I just zoom in just a little mm. bit and kind of crop off. Uh, one, one thing I also don't like is there's this little bit of sand and dirt and water at the bottom. But when you're zoomed all the way out, it almost feels like there's not enough of it to take up the bottom, like I want to shoot wider, or if I just crop in like I was suggesting and cut that off a little bit and maybe get rid of some of the left. Maybe well, you think about that, a vertical crop. So that you works do see too. the water, because that water down there is kind of interesting. Yeah, and that's the nice thing with this image is you can crop this in many different ways. So this isn't the end of the world. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's only a three. But the crop, maybe, maybe the crop could help this out a little bit. Community gives it 3.32. Next image. I think we've seen this location before as well. Yeah, this is a popular one. I don't know if I've seen it in the winter like this. And I don't know that I've seen it from this angle before. I think, isn't there another angle that's... It's probably right there on the left where that little road is. To get to. Yeah, probably right. What is that down there, like a, a dock or a house? Yeah, there's a road that leads right to it where I'm pretty sure all the photographers stand. All right. Three, two, one. I'm in between a three and a four. See, I'm in between a two and a three. Really? There's something that feels kind of cheesy and HDR-ish hmm. to me about this. Um, do you think you would like this more or less without a sky that was a long exposure? Do you think that's helping it? I don't know. I was just noticing that, you know, long exposure in the sky, but then sharp tree branches are kind of weird. And then you've also got these snow drifts kind of coming in from the, the left side of fog or something. Yep. That's kind of feels weird to me too. But then I think overall it's this uh, magenta purple tone that just feels so kinda, fake to I me. I kind of like this. Well, this reminds me of an edit that I did on a landscape this last year. I think I put, I also put like a couple birds <laughs> on top of a blurred sky and I thought it just looked cool. It was like artistic freedom. <laughs> and everyone hated it. Everyone hated it. Um, <laughs> I like this image. There's something about that snow drift on the left that at times I was like, especially the far left, I kind of like it. But then at other times I almost feel like it's something on the lens. Like it almost looks like a, especially this one right here, kind of over the lake, it almost just feels like there's, you know when you take a GoPro in the water? Yeah. You pull it up and you yeah. get that smudge. Exactly. It starts to feel like, oh. Yeah, it's there's a, dirty lens. Like a mistake or something. Right. So maybe if this was multiple exposures, you could like brush that layer out just a little.
to give a little more detail. Maybe I'm being a little picky, but I really like it. I think it, it shows, I mean, the thing you gotta remember too is how do you show all of these tones with a white wintry scene? I like the magentas and the, the cooler colors, you know, the blues and the purples. I think it adds a lot. And with the sun in there, it makes sense. Okay, community gives it 3.29. Now, I think this shot was the second highest rated shot. And I am not a huge fan. I think I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three on this. Um, Real quick, what are the top three things that you don't like about this image or could be better? Number one. I do not like his expression. He feels like he's very uncomfortable and he's just posing for an image rather than trying to actually battle the storm with the lantern. I don't like the lighting position uh, that we have the lantern that's supposed to be lighting his way while there's a super bright light coming from the opposite side that's actually lighting him up. That doesn't make any sense. And then the uh, super bright subject that's this yellowy color and then we've got this blue and black snowy background doesn't really make sense. You did not mention the one thing I thought you would have mentioned in those three. What's All that? those are good critiques. I just felt the composition. It's just kind of a boring straight on shot with a lot of head space and <clears throat> there's no interest going on in the left and the right. I almost would rather it be tighter and he's like walking into the dead space. Absolutely. Something like. I agree. And again, that's a very simple thing that you can fix with this image right as it is. The lighting and stuff like that'd be kind of difficult although there's retouchers out there that could probably make this lit from the lamp and change all the coloring. That would um, be hard. There's but, like black on that side I know, of but when you, you know, like I think of working with Monty and the, uh, the guys who do the movie posters, they can make anything. Yeah. Like they could add warmth to the shadows yeah. and then pull down those tones. Um, not every photographer out there is as good of a retoucher as some of those guys. But the other thing is I feel like the snow flurries are just a little much. Like it almost just feels like, and I'm, almost 100% positive that these are overlays. When there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I added overlays, I think, in the image that I used as the featured image for this contest. The one of Brian Young with the snow and everything like. But this doesn't feel, this, this feels a little over the top. A little heavy handed. Yeah, and like the background doesn't seem that quite as interesting as it probably should be. And what did you rate this? I give it a three. I still think it's a but solid. But you were in between a three and a four. I wasn't between a four. I think this okay. is like a pretty solid three. Okay. It belongs in your portfolio, um, but I don't know that it's, it still could use some work. Well, like I said, community love this 3.49, wow. uh, very close to winning this critique. This was such a unique shot. How do you think this was shot? Do you think there's like a bird's nest nearby and this photographer knew that <laughs> this could happen often? Or I don't know. Or he just caught that moment? And I don't know. Are you ready to rate it? I think so. Three, two, one. Three stars. I want to give this four or five stars, but it doesn't look like a super high res in, in focus shot. It might even look like mist focus a little bit, like the branch and the ice is in focus and then the bird is out of focus. And again, we're <coughs> looking at a relatively low res file, but I just see lots of noise all over the bird and it doesn't look that sharp. And then I see the ice along the branch and it does look really sharp. So ugh, it kills me. Cause I feel like, I mean, what's the chance of getting a bird to hang like that? The wildlife photographers out there are gonna be like, this happens all the time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, does. I agree. Just like the penguins in captivity that you like so I much. I agree. I'm trying to look past that because if it was sharp, like that's such a simple critique. Something's out of focus. What? If, what do you mean? That that could totally ruin the image. Oh no 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 doubt. We recently filmed something where the focus was off a little bit, <laughs> and it was an amazing shot. And, and I, we had to throw the whole thing out, and yep. it was an interview that involved. It was like a twenty-minute take. Yeah. Had to throw the whole thing out. Sometimes that happens. I understand what you're saying. You have to have the pictures in focus. Let's assume this was super sharp. Let's say you even zoom in, and the bird is sharper than its surroundings. Does this go to a four to you? Like, does it jump up? For yeah. me, it doesn't. And I'm trying to figure out, well, what? 
I don't know. I think I think you could zoom in a little bit and just crop out a little more of that tree branch and make it really about that bird and the ice and yeah. I, I'd say certainly a four. I love all the detail and the contrast and the branch. Yeah, I know. That looks really amazing, too. I just wish there was more. I don't know. Like, I wish there was more behind the bird to kind of balance it a little bit better. But maybe if I saw that, I would say, I wish you'd captured it. <laughs> That's the trouble with these critiques sometimes. Community gives it 3.25. Moving on. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Three stars, we agree. Um, I like it. It feels kind of like uh, painting or CGI more than photography to me, which is fine. But it doesn't feel super realistic to me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I've been in locations where it's so dark that if you did a long exposure, this might be the outcome. And then just this scene, being in this environment is, if you get a correct exposure on this image, it's not the sort of thing that ever feels natural to your eyes, you know? But I, I really like it. I mean, I gave it a three, but I think this would work well if you printed this out large and had it in a gallery, this would be one of those images that you would stop and say like, whoa, if this is as clean as, clean as it looks on the screen, high res, if you looked at this in a print form. I don't know that it does look that high res, especially the sky. To me, and again, this file could be different than the high res version, but it looks like tons of noise in the sky. Well, I'm sure there is. I mean, that's the nature of shooting a star shot like this with the galaxy. Is it? I don't know that that's the nature of that. I've certainly seen, and we've taken cleaner images than this. It feels to me like they've taken the white levels and pushed it to like pure white. I mean, there's so much pure white in the stars and the galaxy and stuff. And in doing that, they've they've risen what should be black sky to this neutral blue color and they've they've brought in all this noise. Maybe. I mean, I, I see what you're saying. But I like this composition looking up and if there's anything, I kind of, I kind of don't, I wish this branch right here. It's like there's these nice big, <clears throat> I think know. my biggest problem with this location, this tree that's right in the middle, doesn't it look like it's leaning or falling towards the photographer compared to all the other trees? You know the, uh, the Batman poster, the Dark Knight poster where he's looking down at the camera and there's, there's buildings above him that go okay. up. I mean, It looks awesome, it looks awesome, but somebody pointed out like, this perspective on this makes no sense. The I, way he's like leaning forward and the way the buildings are going, it doesn't really make any sense, and this kind of feels like that to me. I like the, the trees along the right side and you know over the top, but that, that one tree right in the middle, it just feels like timber, like it's coming right at me. I don't get that feeling, and I have no doubt that this was probably two different exposures at most, so I don't, think the tree's been placed in there weird yeah maybe maybe it's just uh, optical illusion community 3.11 what type of animal is this do you know is i mean i want to say something like yak when i see long hair like that is it just a bull is it a cow i don't know i am going to take the fifth on this one and say nothing at all <laughs> and just let me look stupid yeah, because I don't know. I don't know my animals that well. All right, let's rate it. All right. Three, two, one. Four stars. Look we agree. This. this is my favorite image. With the whole critique? Yeah. I really like it, too. I mean, it's simple, the muted colors. This is one of those situations where the straight-on composition works. You put him right in the middle, but he's looking right at the camera. He's interesting enough. I love the tones, the little bit of highlight on the left of the animal, you know, where the sun would be. Yeah. It's really nice. I don't know what portfolio this is. I mean, it could be wildlife, but I could also see I this kind of in your personal is, project sort of stuff. I could. I could just, see this as fine art, too. I, I would have a picture like this hung up in my house. I like this. Maybe if you had, like, a wintry house, but... 
<laughs> Maybe not in Puerto Rico. No, I don't think this would really make a whole lot of sense here. Or even your house in Charleston, would you? I don't know. I'd have to have the right room. I don't know. I just think it's a beautiful photograph. Maybe I'm looking at it more as art than what it is. Mm -hmm. A woolly mammoth in this desolate environment. All right. Community gives us 3.11. I can't believe it didn't get rated higher. Moving on. Now, is this like pet photography? What do you mean? Like, what genre is this in? This is not like a wildlife shot. No, I don't think this is a wild dog. I don't know what you're asking right now. I just wonder what kind of portfolio do you put this image in? I think it would be like pet portraits and family portraits and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Or, you know, or a commercial thing. It would be like an L.L. Bean shot. Maybe. I think you need the human in there for it to be. Well, he's, he's wearing the outdoorsy L.L. Bean embroidered collar. They didn't feature that product enough, if that's <laughs> no. the case. All right, let's rate it. Three, two, one. Three stars. Similarly to the man holding the lantern, yep. I feel like this dog's expression and pose is a little forced. He was off in this moment. Well, it just feels like the owner is standing off to the side and like... As a treat. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel like the dog is really looking at a bird in a tree or something. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the dog is looking at a bird in a tree. It just doesn't feel like that to me. I just, the, the bigger question I have is just, what's the point of this picture? Like, what is the story or what is, you say L.O. Bean, but I feel we like. We went this whole way without you bringing up story. I had to bring What's it the in. story in the last shot, Patrick? It's just this <laughs> solitude, peacefulness of an animal just in its environment. Yep. This, this That's doesn't have this that. Is. This animal's clearly, the dog's clearly doing something. And like you read it as he's waiting to get fed a treat by its owner, which is a strange story for an image like this, right? Well, if it was for like. It could like, just be like a hunting dog in its environment in the woods. That would be fine. It could be I know, a, but when you think of that picture, what is it? It's the dog like on the hunt or running or doing or something. Or pointing, looking at you know, some other animal that is chasing this, or it's posing. Just, it's like if you camera. have a human being in front of your camera and they're giving a weird expression, you're trying to read, like, well, what is happening? I feel like the dog is doing the same thing. The dog is giving us, like, a story or a, an expression, and it's a weird expression. It's well shot. There's, like, elements of this that look really cool, but there's also elements of it that make me say... Maybe the only use for this image is if you own that dog and you want this to be a portrait of the dog in your house. Sure, but that's a, a lot of people hire photographers to take portraits of their family members and animals. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I want it to have a little bit more appeal. Well, what did you give it? Three? Three. It's so still a I. solid right. image. It still could belong in your, your portfolio. Community agrees. 2.96. Final image. Are you ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Three stars. I think this is a beautiful shot. It really is. I mean, when you when you zoom in, you can tell they, they nailed focus on this bird compared to the bird hanging off the icicle. Um, love the color contrast. Beautiful warm tones in the back, blue tones in the foreground. Uh, we have the opposite of that in the yak photo. If you'll notice, we have blue tones in the foreground orange and yellow tones in the subject. So this is reversed. Uh, I think the yak pops better. I think your eyes are kind of drawn more towards the warmer tones, but I still find this to be beautiful. I agree with everything you're saying. I just don't know. I'm al I always like to think, well, what would it take to take it to the next level? Maybe and like a prettier bird, one that's not dying of morbid obesity. This bird is just, it's not, that's a joke, by the way, guys. Maybe that's what these birds look like. But it's just, it looks frumpy and, like, cold and miserable. There are other bird pictures where the bird is, like, super beautiful and posing. This yeah, is not you one. see its feet and it's sideways and it yeah. shows more of its feathers or yeah. something. Or, you know, it could be, like, stretching its wings. That would be really yeah. beautiful. I keep thinking <clears throat> this is, like, a forest fire and the bird is, like, man... <laughs> 
everything's gone. <laughs> Everything I know is dead. <laughs> then it's coming for me, like, just very soon this thing's coming forward. Community gives this 2.6 stars. That wraps up this critique. If you'd like to be part of the next one, click on the link in the description. Upload unique photos. Make sure they're unique. Please make sure. No train unique. tracks. If you put train tracks or pretty pretty girl with a blurry background. Do the train tracks, but do it in a way we've never seen it before. Like, what if you like had a girl runner? in jeans and a cowboy hat, like walking down train tracks? Oh. Ooh, like short jeans, like ripped jeans. What if you took a picture of a mushroom, but instead of it just being a mushroom, you made it glow? Ooh, that's actually a clever idea. Oh man, what if you went to Iceland and you shot Kirchfeld with the with the stars? What? Or with the northern lights? Don't do any of this. Don't do any of this. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.